good morning, good morning. How are we? Hope you're doing good, I hope you're well. We've just popped down to, where are we? Beach. Down to the beach? Yeah. What are we gonna do? Food. Food? No, food. I don't know what you're saying. Food. Out. Throw out stones? Yeah. Oh, you wanna throw some stones? We can do that if you want. Yeah. We're also gonna get some yummy food. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> Lolly and Chock Chock, I don't think so. Oh yeah, those are the stones. Throw out them. You're going to throw them out? Yeah. Should we go to the little shops first? Get a little coffee? No. No? You want to go straight down to the beach, do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Alright, well let's go straight down to the beach. Daddy stones. Oh, these daddy stones. Oh, thank you. Go on then, you throw your little stones in. Whoa! Oh, you come to safety. Whoa! Watch this, are you ready? Whoa! Are you ready? Whoa! I also do want to chat in the vlog today, obviously about the last video that I uploaded and the announcement and I'm super excited to do so but I don't think at the beach right now I'm going to have the time to proper, proper catch up on it with you Alright then, if you could eat anything what would you eat? Chop chop lolly <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that you'd say that? Should we go home and have lunch with mummy? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Secured the goods. No, it's not football. You've got to put it on your head. Yeah, I've already had two coffees. Just saying to Zoe, I just feel tired today. Just got back from the beach. Otty's had lunch, popped her down for a nap just now. Thought I'd show you what I ended up buying. It looks like some kind of dessert, which I'm kind of excited to see. This is what Otty picked for her. It looks so good. A massive chocolate cookie. These were what I bought Zoe and I. Something like toasties, so that's half of it. It's like ham and cheese and ketchup I want to say. No, bacon, cheese and ketchup. And then the last thing I bought for you actually Zoe. Mm. I just saw it and I was like, I feel like you're going to like that. And then I don't know if you're actually going to like it. Sometimes I feel I got like you swayed, go broke. I got swayed into buying it because there's something on the top that you really like, but I don't think you like the actual thing it is. Biscoff. Yeah. You love? Yeah. Flapjack. I love flapjack. Really? Yeah. There we go. Biscoff flapjack. Thank you so much. Delicious. I don't think you like it. I do love flapjacks. You don't remember there was a time in my first trimester where I just wanted to eat so many flapjacks. I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Anyways, I just thought, whilst I'm sat here now, I feel like I'm weirdly far away from the camera, I thought I would chat about the previous video and just say thank you so much for all of the love all of the comments, all of the messages, all of the emails, even people reaching out, all of the DMs, just everything since the last video when I finally could let you know as to why my videos have been like so skewed to just Otty and I and Zoe not really featuring in them and everything. If you didn't catch the video, Zoe's currently pregnant. We're expecting our second daughter to join the family in December. We're so excited. It's honestly just felt like like weight off my shoulders, I'm not even joking. Like I can finally relax when vlogging, when Instagram storying, when taking pictures, because there are so many things around the house, just like everywhere, that give away or hint that Zoe is pregnant or just Zoe's got a big old bump going on that would be obvious in the vlogs. So it feels so nice to finally just be able to like film normally again. I just feel like I've been keeping back such a big part of my life off of the camera that has just felt weird to do. Like I normally share so much and I'm so open about how I'm feeling, what I'm going through, what's going on in my life. 
that keeping something so big and so exciting back has just felt so strange. So I'm so happy that it's finally out there. And yeah, thank you so much for all of the love, all of the comments, all of the support in all the different ways because it's so, like even just walking down the street, even actually when I was literally getting this, this lunch earlier on, the woman who served me brought it over to me. It was like, I just want to say I've been watching your videos for years. I love them. Congratulations on Zoe being pregnant with your second daughter. It's just so good that everybody finally, finally knows. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some lunch. You're gonna have to do your best to ignore just how dry our grass is. We've currently got a hosepipe ban. And we've also just had the most beautiful weather recently. So I'll, I say grass, it looks more like, more like a mossy desert than it does grass because the weather has just been so nice, which is why I'm down here. So a few years ago, I bought this, if you've been watching the vlogs, you would have seen it before, like a massive pop-up pool that I put up and take down each year. And with it now being July and the weather just being so good, like I said, it's definitely time to get the pool out. Although every year I forget just how much work it is and that it is not a one person job. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to get it all up and ready today. And as I said, we've got hosepipe pan at, ban at the moment, so I definitely can't fill it up. But I can start the process of like putting everything in the right place, putting the poles together and everything. And then I can get a mate to come over and help me push it all together because you need minimum two people, probably three people realistic, and then fill it up whenever we can fill it up. So that's my plan for the next like hour or so. But just before I start, I wanna to chat to you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Sky Mobile. And as you know, I'm the biggest Sky user. Zoe and I have had Sky in the house for like, I don't even, the whole time we've been in this house and yeah, in fact, the whole time we were in the last house as well. And we had it in Zoe's flat before we moved into the previous house. That's for like our TV and everything. But Sky Mobile, I've also had for I want to say like two years now. It must be about two years. I've spoken about Sky Mobile so many times on Instagram and so many of the amazing features they have. But today I want to show you throughout this vlog one of my absolute favorite features, which is that if you're a Sky Mobile customer, you can stream all of your favorite Sky apps, so like Sky Go, Sky Sports, Sky Kids, without using your data allowance. So you can literally be watching like live Sky Sports. Let me pull something up now and I'm not on the Wi-Fi. I'm like at the bottom of my garden. <laughs> the Wi-Fi definitely can't reach here. And watching this isn't using any of my data because I'm a Sky Mobile customer. Just watching the live F1 right now. Which means that you literally never have to miss any of your favorite sporting moments. Like you could, you could be down at the beach like me this morning, just watching the F1, watching the women's golf, watching the boxing, whatever it is for you. And you're not gonna be using any of your data up at all. Right, I need to crack on. Actually, let me turn the camera so you can see. I need to crack on with putting this pool together. Oh, there's a toad. Stop. There's two toads. Oh, oh God, what? Otty, do you want to see a froggy? Yeah. Look, come here. Come and look at this, look. I'm very aware of just how gross the pool currently looks. This is the bottom of the pool that goes on the grass every year. This is not the inside. When I pack it away every time, I jet wash the inside so that it's as clean as possible, then fold it all away. But I never jet wash the bottom, <laughs> evidently as you can see. <laughs> and then when I get it back out, I'll jet wash it all again. Obviously when I can, so it will be super clean. Hey. Have you made a little friend? <laughs> body, body. What is it? <laughs> I don't know if he, he's not moving. No, he was a minute ago. He's startled. Well, I think this is the first time you're in the vlog. In about... Oh, yeah. <laughs> in about three months. And what did I come in... Come Four months. down here for? A toad. To see the toad. Can you see him moving over there? <laughs> Should we put this one back with him? Yeah. Well, I need to be careful now. Now I know that there's wildlife in here. Where's the other one? Is he under here? I do kind of feel like we should have bought a new one this year. This feels particularly dirty. We'll just have to give it a wash when the hose pipe bands are lifted. Yeah, the inside's still looking nice. Yeah. I need to start trying to put the poles through the right parts. I feel like I'm wearing the wrong outfit for this. Yeah. Should have just worn some like 
scrubby gym clothes or something. I didn't think about it. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Waterly. You're going to teach me some piano? Oh, that. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, you want me to turn it on? Should we put this down so you've got two hands? Do you want to play me a little tune? Yep. Go and then three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Yeah, that one. Oh, you want me to press play? Oh, you want twinkle twinkle? Yep. Here we go. That's nice. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh. Who taught you how to do that? Who taught you how to do that one? Otty. Otty taught you. So earlier on, when we were out getting food, do you remember what you were doing with the little girl earlier? There was a little girl that must have been like three or four years old. And you know when they, you know when little girls like stand super close to each other and they're like, I was like, Otty, say hi. Otty was like, I was like, say hello. Do you remember your little friend you made earlier? Yep. Show mummy what you're doing with the little girl. No, you weren't sat on the floor. Do you remember you were jumping? And you got so good at it. Jump! Whoa! And spinning around, and then... Jump! Jump! Yeah. But she was proper jumping. I've never seen her jump before. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Daddy. You dizzy? Yeah. Can you jump? Did she teach you how to jump? Do a big one. <laughs> no, Otty, 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 Otty. You're going to get dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't spinning that much, but this little girl was like probably four years old So a little bit older than her and they were both like one would spin and the other would spin back And then one would jump and they were just standing there having like a spin off and a jump off yeah. Look how good she is at yeah, jumping now yeah. Before today I've never seen her like lift both feet off the floor at the same time now. Yeah, but that's on a trampoline because yeah. she's holding on oh. See, oh, that's what's gonna happen. If Did you, you get too dizzy? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, show us your biggest jump you got. Yeah, that's enough. No, Otty, 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 Otty. Whoa. <laughs> show me the biggest jump you got. Whoa. You're lucky I caught your head in my feet then. You would have bonked it. And spin. No, <laughs> no spinning. <laughs> No spinning. No, no. Good sleepies. Come on, good sleepies. No. No. It's currently two days, actually, no, three days since the last clip that you just saw in the vlog. I've just jumped in the car now, about to head off to go buy some last bits of ingredients for like a pizza night tonight. You know it is officially summer. In mine and Zoe's house, in the vlogs, when the pizza oven comes out, it is my absolute favourite thing to do when like friends and family are over. And tonight we've got Poppy and Sean coming around because we haven't seen them for over a week now. They've just been away on holiday for a week. And my mate Morgan is also coming over as well, which will be nice. So just popping out to go buy some last minute ingredients. I went and picked up some fresh pizza dough this morning. So it's going to be absolutely delicious. Earlier on in the vlog, I spoke about the benefits of being a Sky Mobile customer and being able to watch Sky Sports without using any of your data allowance. I feel like it's most fitting now being in the car, although Otty is not with me. Another big benefit is Sky Kids, which again is an app on your phone here that you can just pull up and allows you to watch all of the bangers like Paddington, Peppa Pig, Fireman Sam from your mobile. So if you're like out in a restaurant and the food's taking a particularly long time to come or you've got a long car journey and your kids are just a little bit restless, whenever is the right time for you and every parent has a different moment or a different time if their children do watch TV that is right for them. But having the access on my phone to be able to just put on some Paddington Bear, I'm telling you now, is an absolute lifesaver. Right, I need to put my phone away and go and buy these last bits of ingredients. This is the pizza setup that we've got going. We've got the doughs here, some mozzarella, a little bit of olive oil, cheddar, burrata, 
some ham, some chicken, tomatoes, peppers, pesto, pizza sauce, and then outside, we've got the pizza oven heating up, getting nice and toasty. Right, are we ready to get going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you see the food? <laughs> it looks crazy. Wow. Bossy, what do you want on your pizza? Do you want this one? Yeah. What do you want on it? You tell me. Yeah. Yeah, you've got some tomato on there. Anything else? Cheese. Do you want some cheese? Yep. Yeah. Do you want to sprinkle the cheese on? Take some cheese. Big bit. How's that? Oh, that might take you a while. <laughs> look at, look at. Yum, yum. <laughs> big bit. Oh, oh, big. Put those hands back in. Put big, lots of cheese on there. Bit. Does anyone mind a double dip? Nice. <laughs> Grab it. That's it. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, all in one bit. Should we sprinkle it? That's it. Go. Oh, yay. that's a lot. Just massive chunks. Maybe she likes it like that. <laughs> Perfect. You happy with that? Perfect, he says, as he rearranges the pizza. <laughs> That's the most my mum thing ever. And yeah. um, put it on the pizza. On here. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, yum. Have a little taste. Is Should that all you want? Should we put tomatoes? Yep. How many? One, two, three. Three. You want three. Anything else? Pepper? Yep. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She doesn't actually really like that, um, so. Anything else? <laughs> a bit Chick more cheese? On, Maybe put some over here, look. Over there. What yeah. about chicken? Go <laughs> 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 no. put the rest, put the rest on put there. Put the rest on there. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Do you want some chicken? I thought she was going to do it. <laughs> that is usually what happens when we bake with her. She just eats everything. Perfect. Perfect. Lovely. Perfect. All done? Yep. Should we go and put it in the in the oven? Yep. Come on then. Love. Lovely. Lovely. Love. Otty loves. Oh. oh, is that what she's saying? Otty yeah. loves. Otty loves. If you show her food she likes, she goes, Otty loves that. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Hey. She was oh, saying oh, love. She was saying love. Oh, you want the oven glove? Yep. Nice. Oh, Come have you tested the temperature? No, the temperature I couldn't find the little gun. temperature gun. Uh. We normally have a little widget that tells you the temperature of the back of the oven. But I've had it on for like 15, 20 minutes. So it'll be hot enough for sure. I mean, I can literally feel the heat from here. Come and cook your pizza. pizza. Ready? Yep. We're ready to put it in. Yep. You're going to help mummy? Put your glove on. Ready, steady. Push it in. Push, push. Oh, yay! Look, can you see it cooking? Yep. How cool! To do. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the kind of thing we're going to do it once, yeah, come and now just be like, why don't we do this all the time? Like it's so quick, it tastes so good. Got to go for it. You just got to be confident with this. The camera can't see just how good it looks. The edges are quite burnt. Yeah, we'll That's just have to cut them off. What's the bottom looking like? That's from too much flour. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I think don't go Ready? too far back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. And then you're just going to want to do a little now spinny we maroon. What are we saying? Let me see yours. It looks good. Boy, the big puffy boy. Big puffy with some chicken. That does look good. Poppy's looks unreal. Mine looks like a pizza pie. Oh, you <laughs> cut that so wonky. <laughs> Pop. Look at that one. Oh, that's even worse now. <laughs> We've also turned down the temperature of the oven because we realized, well, I didn't realize, the others realized that when I was turning the temperature up to get it up to temperature, I had it on full and then accidentally just left it on full. So it's so Otty's pizza got quite crispy on the edges, but now we're talking about halfway. It's looking nice. That's looking good. Oh Sat goodness. out in the garden. Is that dark? Look what else I've got. It's burning. 
we had this in the fridge. Yeah, oh, because your honey. I think it's the mozzarella. It does look good though. Oh, Pizza yeah. pie. That's right. Is it all right? Um, I feel like that's pretty raw. <laughs> no, I think it's cooked. No, that's raw. Do you want to put him back in for a minute? Turn the thing right down and put it back in. My face in this, I don't care, just so I know. Just your face. I've got it zoomed in on just your face. <laughs> also, how is that possible? Just my face, nothing else. Why does mine puff up so much when it was like the same size as yours are? That's not too bad. No, that's just not the one, is it? <laughs> no, try it. How is it so burnt around the edges but it's so Also, warm? we don't, I didn't buy any spare dough, which I probably should have done. <laughs> that's Somebody, such... There's always going to be one pizza that doesn't end up the best. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a picture? I'm going to put your this on my Instagram. Put it on my Instagram. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so <laughs> That looks so good. Out of everybody, your, your shirt. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Still, I'll be order, order so your domino. Everyone's left the house now. I'm currently sat on the sofa with Nala. And I've just been watching back through some of the footage from this evening of the pizzas. And this vlog is just given me like 2018, 2017 YouTube daily vlog vibes. I think it's because the good weather, friends over, family over, the swimming pool being back up, the pizza oven being back out as well. But just the vibe of the vlog feels very like old school vloggy. I've also just been looking at comments on my previous video Actually, the one before, because obviously my previous video was the announcement video. So the one before that, I'm picking the question, because if you're new here, at the end of every vlog, I answer a question from the previous video. So if you've got a question that you'd like me to answer in the next video, drop it down below in the comments now, and I pick one of them, and I'll answer it at the end of the next video. But the question, and I feel like this is a really good question, because you can take it in whichever way you want. You could go with as deep as you want. You could just go as like lighthearted and fun. Whatever it is for you, there is not a right or a wrong answer. The question is from Labina and it says, is there anything that you know you should let go of, but you haven't yet, and why? And at first when I read that, I was sat here for a couple of minutes like, oh, I really want to think of something quite deep. Something really like meaningful that I should let go of but I haven't. And if you've been watching the videos, you'll know that this year for me is all about the year of simplicity, of stripping a lot of things back that have just like, I've accidentally just carried along for the years, like work-wise, personal-wise, personal habits, and just diff all different things from all different areas in my life. And I've spent so much time this year really simplifying everything, and I've made such a big progress. So this is about something that I should let go of, but I haven't yet but I've let go of so much this year. So I was like, oh, what haven't I let go of yet that I still need to let go of? And the only thing I can think of is possibly the most simple thing, but I definitely do need to let go of or like restrict myself and lower the amount that I do it a lot is scrolling social media. My watch time, no, not watch time, what is it? My like phone usage time over the last couple of months has increased so much and that's not a good thing i'm talking about just scrolling utter rubbish that i don't remember 10 seconds later i don't remember the next day i'm sending my friends videos i'm watching videos they're sending me that I literally just go like straight in my brain and then they're just gone i get a bunch of fun out of it and i do really enjoy it but i definitely do it too much so for me, that is the one thing at the moment that I know I need, like, I need to change, I need to let go of, I need to switch up. It's just fun though. It just is fun, but I get nothing at all beneficial from it. I need to be realistic. I need to just like gradually, like it is straight up an addiction. It is an addiction. And it's an addiction that I don't even realize I'm addicted to until I look at the stats of how much I'm on my phone and then it's not good. But yeah, I would love to know your answers to the question. So what is something in your life that you should let go of that you haven't yet? I feel like even just like taking some time to proper think about it and then taking the time to write it down below in the comments will definitely help you get that one step closer to letting go of it. If you've enjoyed the video, 
Don't forget to go down below, drop it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. There are more people that watch these videos that are unsubscribed than are subscribed. It takes one second of your time. Go down below. Let's all do it at the same time. Let's all do a big group effort. Everyone go down below, hit the thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get, I don't know, 12 and a half thousand thumbs up. That's the little goal for this video. One more thing just before I go. I've been speaking, as I've said, about Sky Mobile multiple times throughout the video. If you haven't already, definitely go check out Sky Mobile. They've got so many good features from 99% network coverage to being able to roll over your data. So at the moment, on my piggy bank, on my Sky Mobile app, let me pull it up now, I've currently got 305.7 gigabytes, as you can see there, of data that is saved up for me to use. And I'm also able to send that data to other SIM cards. And you can also just mix up your contract. Like every month you get the opportunity to just change your contract, which I've personally never seen any other network offer that feature. They've got so much good stuff going on. Can't recommend them enough. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Definitely go check them out if you're in the lookout for a new SIM card, a new phone contract. Anyways, again, thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you next Sunday. I'll see you next Sunday with another new video. Appreciate you watching.